everybody's here now. We've got Di Stewart from AKA Primary Solutions. Um, Di, I'll just hand over the microphone straight to you. Thanks, Nikki. So AKA Primary Solutions is my consulting company. And one of the things that I do is I'm the agent for a New Zealand supplier of IoT technology. So harvest.com systems. Harvest.com Systems has a range of sensors that attach to a base station or can be standalone. Here we've got a weather station with wind, temperature, rain, um, and we've also got solar radiation. It's talking to, you may or may not have noticed a little solar panel on an end post as we walk down here. That's talking to that remote, which is connected to soil moisture probes, a clima soil moisture probes. And I was going to mention to Nigel, our clima soil moisture probes also measure EC and temperature continuously. So in terms of tracking soil salinity, they can be pretty handy. Um, the display that I've got in the marquee today is a uh, standard um, vineyard type of setup. And if you have a look at the graphic up on the screen, you'll see we have also got irrigation controllers, we've got frost fan monitoring kits um, that you often see out in a vineyard setting. But beyond that, there's also applications for broadacre livestock farming with milk vat monitoring, tank monitoring, diesel fuel tank monitoring, pump control um, as well. So if anyone's got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Oh, one other thing that's really <clears throat> quite relevant in Australia Last year, Harvest gained bomb accreditation. So they're one of only three um, meteorological suppliers that have that, the others being Campbell Scientific and Metos. So that's in, they've met all of the requirements for bomb um, systems, and we do have some in place around Australia. So any questions? Something that we can clarify is we have uh, AKA weather station here and we have the bomb weather station on our right so they are taking data together at the same time and we are able to compare them and it's very useful and you can have a look at the data yourselves um, if you go on to harvest.com you go to live data and then you can select the country the region and the site and all of the primary industries sites we're at Loxton we're here we're at Struan and Kaibi Bolite in the southeast and you can have access to that data and see what the soil moisture is like weather data um, as well the the uh, the equipment also comes with a free phone app which is customized um, have on your smartphone and you get you can set up alerts from any of the sensors as well when they get to reach certain thresholds Di, would you need to be living near this weather station for, to, for the information to be relevant to you? So a, lot of, it's, so a couple of things around that. So if you're in the Barossa and you want to have a look at Barossa weather, this is another option you can go and it's freely available. If you're a grower, and we do a lot of work for, um, for sites that are remote from the growing site that they want to monitor. So um, whether it's Tasmania, whether it's the Hunter Valley, whether it's the Barossa, there is, there is a lot of value in having some um, reliable um, information coming from that site 24 hours a day so you can keep track on the conditions down there. So the cost of that again, is it obviously relevant to each person? But Yeah, it does depend. In terms of the data cost, which I guess can be um, something that's easier to compare and there's been a little bit of a talk about data cost. So for this um, equipment here, if you had a standard setup, it's $55 a month. So about six, just over $600 a year for the data cost. And that is regardless of how many sensors that you attach to it. You have to get a pretty complicated system before that or one with a camera. So we do actually have a camera that goes on uh, stations as well. That's used a lot for fire and forest monitoring, more so than vineyards. But once you get start taking visual data, then the cost of your data goes up. But for the numerical data that's coming through in this situation, it's $55 a month.